the month. And you're supposed to fight Valdez at a different weight class at uh, 146 previously. How good does it feel to finally get that fight that you've been waiting for? I feel like his best chance was to catch me at 126. I feel like now I'm at 130. I'm bigger, I'm stronger. I'm a lot better than uh, what I used to be. And um, he in for it come April 30th. Did you see his training footage? And what did you take away from his training footage? I, I, I watched uh, some of them and I feel like he working hard. He doing what he's supposed to do. I can't uh, take nothing away from him. And we know he's going to come in shape, ready to fight. I just got to come in shape, ready to fight too. You want to at least connected on fighters in, the, in boxing. Do you even think that... About, I mean, of course you're going to give him his respect. Do you think he's going to have a hard time even touching you? Because a lot of people... Yeah, for sure. Um, I, it don't matter who I get in the ring with. Um, my defense, A1. Uh, I practice it every day. I make sure I don't take a lot of punches. Um, he's going to have a hard time hitting me come April 30th and so on. If, for, you dominate, for everybody. Sorry, if you dominate Oscar Valdez, would that put you on the top pound for pound list? And if so, where? I see, like, number five on the pound for pound list. Um, I just fought Jamel, and I'm right back fighting Oscar Valdez. I'm taking on a tough competition. Oscar undefeated 30-0 and, 30 and 0 with 23 knockouts. Um, it's not an easy fight for me, but uh, I'm willing to take the challenge. I love these type of challenges. These challenges wake me up every morning. If you get past Oscar, will you stay at 130 to go, uh, go for the undisputed? Yeah, I want to go for the undisputed. I want to fight for the belts in my next few fights after this fight, but we got to focus on this fight first. Um, I'm not looking past Oscar Valdez. I got to get the job done first. You feel the narrative? Obviously, people say Oscar Valdez has power. Obviously, you have power, and you feel like when people spring up Oscar Valdez's power, he's a little disrespect. Dylan, I'm right behind you. You have power, which is an emotional belt. You know, I think you knocked out the champion. I think that's a surprise. I, I'm cool with, with whatever they say. I don't got no power. However they want to put it, um, he going to feel it come April 30th how strong I am, and he's not going to walk through me. Talked about how it was to get painful to watch some of this uh, happen to your boy Lubin tonight. Do you think the, the corner then did a good job to step in then, or they should have stepped in sooner? Oh, um, not. Nah, uh, his coach looked at me at the uh, the last round. He was going to stop it that round. Um, they probably didn't stop it sooner because Erickson has got a lot of heart, and he showed that when he hurt him and dropped him. So um, definitely, I think the corner did a good job. Shakur, we witnessed uh, Chris Colbert lose. Just seeing uh, Lubin lose, uh, we know that these are guys that you know and have been friends with in the past. How does that change your training or your motivation uh, leading up to April 30? I don't look at myself as like certain other fighters. Like I know that I'm a special fighter. I know that I've been built to win. Um, I don't really look at myself and, and, and look at these other fighters and if they lose, try to measure myself with them. Um, I know what I, what I come to do and I'm coming to do the same thing every night and that's win. Can you share anything about uh, your training as far as who you work with in this case? We always see you with Ward and Bud and I know you work out with them. Can you share anything as far as... We just got my same team with my coaches, my grandfather, um, my coach Jack, Ed Jack. Um, my coach is my team, my, my team is strong, and I got the same team and doing the same things that we've been doing. Is it harder for you to secure the big fights than it is to actually win them? Uh, nah, I feel like um, everything comes with time, and I feel like we wanted this Valdez fight, we got this Valdez fight, so everything comes with time, and then whatever other fight we went from, so on, probably gonna happen too. What was your thoughts on primetime losing to Hector? I mean, I talked a lot of shit about B-Hop before, but I, ain't, I don't take nothing away from B-Hop. I feel like he was off that night. I feel like um, he's a lot better than what he's shown that night. And I don't got nothing bad to say about B-Hop.